Yo, what is up gamers? Checking out the Pharaoh Cat from Furtherance today. This is an item that I saw a bit ago and I took mental note of it. In fact, actual physical notes. I wrote it down that I wanted to try it out. So here we are. It makes it so you shoot a giant pyramid shot. And I know it works very well with multi-shot items like a mutant spider or a parasite. So we're playing Isaac today. I'm gonna see how it feels to play around with it and maybe try and rig, get a god run going. Immediately, my first analyzation of the item is that shoot Shooting fires is the easiest thing I've ever experienced, and I never want to start with another item ever again. This one is peak, we hit it, we can move forward. Where's Binding of Isaac 2? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna forewarn you guys right now, I just got done playing Baldur's Gate 3. We were on for a very long time, so it's very late when I'm recording. And I cannot scream. As much as I really want to get excited, I'll probably like make a peep or something if something sick happens, which something always sick happens in Isaac, so it's bound to happen, but I'm not going to scream. I'm I made sure. <laughs> I promised I would not be loud and I don't want to go back on that promise just to establish right away. Even with that being said, I am just as hype as ever to play Binding of Isaac. Do not get me wrong. This is interesting. It seems like when a tier effect is procced with the Pharaoh's Cat, it isn't an individual tier. It's the entire chunk. It's treated as one tier. That's not how I expected it to work. I don't think I know a single item in Isaac that works that way, but that's actually pretty sick. Secret Room can never be next to boss, so Secret Room must be here. And the secret room has a pill. What's good? I'll take it as gulp is useless, but good for the future. We got full health walking in here. We got bombs. I'm walking out of here. And we got a lust fight. So how much damage does one burst do? I feel like I haven't been able to hit an entire burst every single tier. It's kind of hard. I'm always like missing at least one. Luck up is sick. But despite that, you saw the chunk on it? Jesus. That was like four shots total and lust was done for. Big fan of the DPS output with this one. If we fight a widow, which I called, I just know it. The vibes were immaculate. You're on the cellar and you can just tell when you're going to fight widow. I'm sure we will absolutely destroy the health bar. There it is. It's already happening. My visions have come true. The prophecy is real. Our boss reward is pageant boy. Here's what I want to do with this. As much as I want to roll it right away, we have a free shop, no key needed, and a donation machine. Do I care about blanket enough to take the pageant boy? No. <laughs> not not at all. I mean, blanket's cool, but I'm not playing that squishy of a character. Whatever. I'd rather get HP, genuinely. Downpour gaming, we activate. Goodbye. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, goodbye. Okay, we got Curse of the Blind, leading me to believe that I don't even really want to go to the, the treasure room. It's only the second floor in the entire game. And if I decide to not go right now, I could probably lock in some good planetarium chance for the future. I can see it happening. A little bit of a payoff. I, you know what? I don't got keys anyway. We got a cornball type run, no keys moment. So we can just leave that alone for now. Broken syringe is nice. I also realized that technically we have infinite secret rooms with uh, the sulfur. Did that break without the sulfur? Am I nuts? I don't think so. So that, that definitely broke without the sulfur. M maybe I'm crit. Maybe I'm colorblind. Nope, I definitely am not. I, I guess it's just a visual thing. <laughs> yeah, I could have gotten the super secret room on the last floor. We'll just keep that in mind. No secret room shall be left unfound from now on. That is the craziest thing about sulfuric acid. It's just infinite secret rooms, infinite rock breaks. It really is one of the most broken items in the game if you're just patient enough. A lot of items are like that in Isaac, where their potential is completely limitless as long as you feel like you uh, got time to do it. <laughs> and and of course I got time. I'm playing Isaac, bro. Like things like number two, you know, like that item's sick. The downside, uh, you know, I guess you could blow yourself up, but skill issue. The upside, infinite utility, guys. Super secret room into beggar. I did get hit, so I'll blow you up. That'll increase my deal chance heavily. That might be able to save myself from my own downfall. Wow, we really do have a key. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna hope that we get a deal here and I'll lock in the fire serum chance instead. Okie dokie. We do get the deal, which is humongous for us. Not taking it, of course, but it's great because now we will get angel chance. I just recognize huh? how weird of a secret room that is. Even with my eight bombs, I might not have even found it if I didn't have sulfuric. Back to downpour. Love the green statistics on the bottom right of my screen. Big fan of that one. Just checking for any kind of secret room. Definitely not there. Let's just move forward. We got a treasure room right away. We didn't get one on the last floor and I'm really trying to farm for some like mega items. Something to complement this. If I can't find anything good, you know, I'll come in post edit mode and just show like the capacity, the infinite possibility with this item. But I'm hoping that I could probably just do it on this run specifically. Am I correct? It's looking like a no. Reroll? Oh god. Hey, yeah, yeah. hey you know what? Conjoin though. Conjoin could work. Conjoin will probably just make it so I shoot three of these. I, I 
I imagine. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. I think that would go pretty hard. As well as destroying every single one of these buckets for a proc like that. Not what I was thinking. I was thinking more along the lines of quarter. But that is arguably even better than a quarter. That's probably the best thing you could get from... That's probably the best thing you can get from the buckets, if I'm being real. Quarter, short term, little tiny investment, nothing. Leech, lifelong best friend, homie to the end, mouth wide open. <laughs> got our boss already. I think I'd rather find all my secret rooms first. We're doing fine, we got soul hearts. I'm not worried about losing my deal chance here. Is this really not my secret room though? Wow, I'm surprised, I gotta say. Oh, okay, that's actually the best thing about the entire item so far. The fact that you can delete two tiles worth of obstacles, whether it be poops or fires, with a single shot, that's like something I've always internally wanted as Isaac. Long gone are the days of me like constantly shooting two layers of fires next to each other and wasting a couple extra seconds. No, no longer. Now we are optimal as hell. I actually have no idea where the secret room is. <laughs> Oh my goodness, another weirdo. Uh, we'll blow you up. Uh, no planetarium. I don't think it's gonna pay out right away. That's fine. I'll check this shop and then we'll go fight the boss considering uh, we uh, murderized that guy just now. Spider mod. I like the idea of that. And the math checked out perfectly to take this luck up as well. So I'm gonna consider it destiny. We do need more money. We got a restock machine that's gonna double on the mirror dimension. Let's not worry about that too much right now though. Let's just uh, go and obliterate this guy. Rainmaker? Yeah, sorry. Your life serves zero purpose. You're done for. Dude, the damage with Pharaoh Cat is actually nuts. If I get a sacred heart right now, I, I might break my rule. I'm gonna scream. I, I can't help it. I just... Okay. Okay, 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 listen. It's real good. It's not a sacred heart, but it is an angel quality four, and I almost like let one loose. Not in the gross way, I mean like in my vocal cords way. But we're good. I'm also gonna roll this key piece. I'm just going full on. I just want complete synergies. A Trisagian would be sick. Crown of Light shooting a bajillion diamonds. We caught a charged key. Oh, Trisag! This is it, dude. <gasps> it works! Okay, this is sick. This is actually going to be so awesome. Range up with Trisagian is also sick. How far does it go? now very very good distance we will activate ghost to denny phantom mode uh, check the curse room try not to die in there then go mirror dimension pharaoh cat seems like such a simple god quality for upgrade i'm a huge fan already the fact that it works so simple and well with synergies like i envision it and it works hello i'm back here i don't need that it's just something that i, I love you know if i can envision a synergy and it works exactly how i envisioned it i really like the design that maybe is a little bit of a god complex now that i say that out loud I don't dictate the entirety of the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> Most definitely not. But, but you know what I'm trying to say, you know? Like some things in your brain make sense of like a, how a synergy should work. And so when it comes together like that, it just feels great. What's like an example? You know, like, okay, when Rebirth first came out, everyone was freaking out. Oh my god, Mom's Knife Brimstone is gonna have a synergy. The two best items ever in the game in Isaac history. <gasps> What's it gonna be? And then Rebirth came out and I I'm gonna say it. I know we're all thinking it. Mom's Knife Brimstone. It it, it, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's cool. I mean, like, it's definitely unique. Is it, like, the sickest thing I've ever seen, though? No, I, I think something cooler could have happened. If I think to myself right now, Mom's Eye Brimstone with, like, Flash Brain, what could I imagine happening? I imagine it's li it's the opposite. Because right now what's going on is it's mainly Mom's Knife with Brimstone tacked on. You know, you shoot your Mom's Knife, and then the Brimstone knives come out. But what I see happening is it's literally, like, you charge it up like Brimstone, and the knives come out, just like how it usually does. Just no mom's knife on top of it. Does that mean it would be literally nerfed? Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm sure they kept the mom's knife aspect because mom's knife is completely overpowered. So they want to keep it, you know, feeling overpowered. But I would just say you could buff the damage on the brimstone mom's knife in general just to even it out. So it would be the same thing. It would just feel better in my brain, you know? Add like a cool sound effect to it, like a swing, swing, swing. Some kind of sword sound effect when charging up your, your mega brimstone knife thing that's how i always envisioned it now to this day i'm i'm a little bit happy with how it turns out because of the total synergies that works together it all works perfectly but if i were to start a run with mom's knife and brimstone i'd be lying if i didn't say my brain a little bit even to this day i'm like eh that's, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> True or false, you tell me. Our last thing to check is a charged beggar. I, I'm i gonna blow you up and hope that I get some more money. Okay, and now I'm gonna blow up the restock machine in both shops. Because I didn't even check the first one, I just didn't have the money for it. And maybe this will work out. Sackhead. I would pause for Sackhead. I need to get money though. I, I let it go. I... <laughs> 
I said I would pause for Sackhead, and my instinct was to hit the pause button and let it go. Uh, let's check the other shop. Sackhead being lost out on is not the biggest deal. It's mainly used for rigging, but it's not the item it used to be. If it was like Rebirth Sackhead, I I would have just been so sad. Nowadays though, eh, it's okay. You know, it's good to have. Whatever. Is this anything that I truly, really need? Ooh, okay, that I need. Especially considering it's half price, just makes uh, everything way easier. I could farm for a PhD using my Ace of Diamonds card and a little bit of maxing. I don't think we need it though. I'm just gonna head out. I, I, this run feels already so powerful. By the power invested in me and God and the angel room, I've been given uh, some incredible items. I'm just gonna put it to use. Okay, flooded caves moving down. Free curse room because we went ghost mode. You guys already know the deal. Optimization station. We got nothing from it, but hey, I also lost nothing from it and that's the big value. Oh God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I did lose something. I lost my mental prowess. I don't know why I thought I had flight. I immediately lost it, obviously, because I went ghost mode. What a absolute clown play by me. Hey, that's very rare. I will take advantage. I mean, we are going angel deals, but it's a 50-50 between the two at this point. You know, if we get a devil, I'll walk inside. Maybe there's more guppy. We've been getting guppy pretty often recently, so I'll play into it. Why not? Thank you. Dude, feral cat is actually insane of an item. The last time I checked out like a mega cool item that I thought would be sick for a video and not to throw shade, you know, but it was that, it was that devil item. <laughs> And that was utter pain. That was quality four. And I'm pretty sure that item is bugged, which is why it felt like that. But this item is just way sicker. I picked it up and immediately I felt powerful. Not so much that it was like an instant win, you know, but enough that I'm excited to see what synergies go with this thing and make it better. And that truly defines what a quality four item is, in my opinion. It is the synergies. You gotta remember, any of these quality four items in the game, they aren't that incredible by themselves. You know, base brimstone is you know, you've seen it. It doesn't do that much damage. Base Polyphemus? Don't act like you think you could go the entire game with that kind of tier rate. Absolutely not. What's this treasure room? I'll take the x-ray. Was there something above me? That's obvious. Thank you. I'll blow all these up. Like, the reason Poly is good is for when you get Brimstone or Mom's Knife with Polyphemus and the damage multipliers stack, and now you're doing Poly damage with Mom's Knife and you one-shot everything. This item falls under that category where I'm like, damn, I am excited to see what this item can do with other items and look what it's done you know we have trisagon and it's doing incredibly well very very sick so far i know the furtherance devs i don't believe they really work on the mod anymore but man everything they've done has been so cool i love their ideas i wish one day like they would come back okay mystery gift i think we know what we're doing today we plop the mystery gift in the secret room we get rock bottom it's a good day what are you <laughs> that that's new. I, I have no idea. It's a range up spectral tears. Tears is fired from the back of your head. Tears only move when you're moving. The tear fired from the back has opposite movement. This seems like it would mess everything up. So I'm gonna reroll it because there's reroll potential in the secret room and obviously that's high value. But I'll also just pop in and show you guys what it looks like because I myself am curious, don't get me wrong. All right, just wanted to quickly check what this item does and to be honest with you, I don't know what's happening here. It looks cool though, that's, that's pretty sick, but it, it, how is this useful? I don't know, it's pretty cool. Wapam! Definitely way more disappointing. <laughs> Goat hoof. Uh, I may as well take this and then gulp it and then thanks for the speed up. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting another roll here. I'm just gonna go back and take the Samson. I would say something like, oh wow, at least Samson is kind of like infinite bombs or something, but we got Sulphuric to, you know, already do that for us. So there's really no redeeming this in my eyes. Samson is an L item. It happens, whatever cry about it. Who is it? It's Peep. Let's see our real damage. We only have four base, but with four base and Trisagion, you can already see it's just melting like crazy. Feral Cat's so nasty. The only reason we have four base is the Sulfuric, and I'm still gonna keep four base because I'm not getting damage ups. <laughs> I'll take HP though. I'm not, you know, not grateful. I definitely need it after the dead cat play. Matchstick is nice. Actually, I'm gonna not take Matchstick. 
in my mind, matchstick increases the chance for bombs to show up, which means that other things won't show up as much. You know, like uh, keys or coins or something. I have infinite bombs, so let let's not do that. We could very well have a planetarium moment right now, uh, where I decide to lock in the planetarium chance hella early, and it just never works out. It, sometimes this happens, you know? That's, uh, you know, a strategy people do with Tainted Keeper, since the shops are so good, there's really no reason to check the treasure room. But even then, I feel, you know, you might as well if you're just restarting and trying to see if you got a good start or not. Check the check the treasure room. Because sometimes, I don't know, man, these planetariums, you give them up your entire planetarium chance. You go to like 60%. Nope, doesn't show up. Too bad. <laughs> oh, Super Envy. You are too kind. I'm gonna roll it. Oh, yeah! We're gonna need some extra luck, I think. That is high on the priority list currently. Anything to increase my luck, I will find and I will consume. Oh, never mind. I just got trolled. Or anti-trolled, I suppose. I got the planetarium. I'm happy. Now watch it be Mars. Mercurius. Definitely just as disappointing. <laughs> we gaming for real. Go into the sh- Oh, I can't scream. I'm sorry. Make the stopwatch though. Thank you. And the soul hearts are nice. Uh, more gold pills. These have been working out for me. And then we go super secret. My favorite super secret room. Always gonna give out some kind of item. Anything? No. Okay, that's that's fair, I guess. Isn't this a trinket? I guess I can uh, gulp it, even though it's really not too good in my opinion. I take the luck up. That's great. I, it's actually incredible that I managed to get hit by that. And then we'll go. I can't believe that. Jesus, that actually took skill to do. What's in here? Evil Eye. Oh, wow. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Evil Eye is one of those items that I feel like would be so good with this Pharaoh cat play. If I could just spawn one, I need to verify. Yeah, it's literally gonna show Oh wow, it's so good. Our DPS just got maximized. I'm humongously excited for the future. Got a curse room over here. I feel like I don't need to full clear as much anymore. Now that I got the planetarium, I got that kind of closure. Uh, so this might be the last floor that we really do that. I got a battery. So I want to look for an item though. Maybe I can start rolling that. Next priority is hopefully rolling more secret rooms with the D6. Land some kind of god item. Might not be possible, but we may as well try. You know, we get a death certificate and then I can take whatever item I want to complement the feral cat. Which is what I'm really looking for. What I wouldn't do for a mutant spider right now. Okay, Necropolis 1 holds the pile. The pile. I Dude, I need, I need more damage. <laughs> I have a feeling that this build does so much damage. I mean, it literally already is with me basically being base. Imagine if I just had one. <gasps> it's a little less than what I want, but I guess it's what I wanted, so thank you. <laughs> does it really count? No, but it does, it does. It's five base now, and we're gonna see a, a, a stark difference, I think. Look at this. Immediately, I feel like I'm killing things way better. I, that guy would have been one shot no matter what, don't get me wrong, but it's... <laughs> uh, I don't know if I care about Robo Baby and leech and spider mod this might be better in fact this might be a situation where we plop these guys that sack alter in the secret room to give ourselves extra charges and extra pedestals to work with the mind is cooking always think of a way to spawn pedestals when you're running isaac with a d6 any way possible even if it means like sacrificing your friends unfortunately that's just business it has to be done oh we got reverse justice as well okay this might be the floor guys i can definitely sense it. The energy is different. I know you can feel it too. And I'm shooting so many of these evil eyes. It's sick. Okay, this is an easy, easy, easy room. Mom's hands are done. And the x-ray goggles have discovered a secret room for me. It doesn't seem to have much. Couple more checks. No reason not to. Nope. Okay. Maybe an item. Please. Oh, man, do I want the stapler? But the value, dude, the value of having Sack Alter in that secret room with rerolls is going to be way too big. A single damage up is nothing in comparison. So let's do that. In fact, we can be even more optimal here and not take as much damage in and out of the curse room. You see the vision. Okay, maybe the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> let's take this and then, and then I'll walk out. Okay, boom. I'm with it. They are, again, incredible items, and I really want to take them. But three secret room rerolls after I've already kind of rolled a bit of the secret room, it, it, I have to commit. Those are the cosmic rules of the Binding of Isaac. I don't make them. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Big reveal. Boom. Red key. What do we want to do with the red key? I mean, I guess I'll try and guess it. I need to run the D6 for the rest of the floor to gain charges. So we'll do something like this. This seems like a pretty 
good guess, yeah. There were three red rooms attached to that potential ultra secret, so that seemed like the obvious choice. Big fan. And in here, why? What is that? I don't know. It's the book of books. Activates every book item at once. What? <laughs> Works with modded books? What? That's insane. Is there a book that I don't want activated? I kind of want to just do it. Dude, that charge is crazy. That is nuts. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. There's a birthright, my goodness. That seems like such a nuts item. I don't even know what every book does. Well, I am gonna be smart here. And since we have Mercurius, we are not actually losing out on any rolls here. We can just walk through and grab my D6 again. Uh, we have a treasure room below me. Oh, yes, dude. I'm so happy something like this exists. It's gonna look so crazy. A reverse Wheel of Fortune is probably gonna ruin any sense of like synergies I have right now. I don't wanna do that. I love what we're rocking, especially with Play Doh Cookie, sometimes even giving us like homing shots. And we already know how crazy homing Trisagion is. What? What? Ha excuse me? <laughs> I walked in a room, it made the arcade open sound, and I gained damage. Just kidding, it's gone. Anyway, yeah, you guys already know how good Trisag homing is. Is. I, I, as much as I said earlier, what is this? What? what uh, excuse me? <laughs> Even Trisagian homing, I say you could get through the entire game without a damage up. Straight up 3.50 damage base. Those two items, you could beat the entire game. Don't even deny it. So unbelievably easy. Okay, we got a super secret room in here. Another beggar, dude. I am gonna leave you alone. I don't really know if I have much of a use for you. I already got three secret rooms I'm trying to roll. And I'm not gonna get another one so let's just clear out this room as well so far the secret room rerolls i actually have not been paying out too crazy for me oh gold bombs they gave me an ultra secret sure but that ultra secret didn't exactly have the most what what turns all pickups chests and non-bosses into micro batteries what a crazy card to exist are you insane what? what is that? Never mind, we're, we are cooking actually. That card is broken as hell. Oh my goodness, there's rock bottom. I forgot I even picked up birthright as well. It was so over. Here's another roll. There it is. What do I want? I kind of want Mutant Spider, dude. I so badly. I just want to get like as much multi-shot as possible. I also never take Mutant from like the death certificate room. I'll take something generic like a rock bottom sacred orb. This is more fun, man, because it's unique. We'll take this. And then boom, infinite shots. We also got a lost soul who 10 times out of 10 will not survive, but I'm down to try. But we're also not done. We got so many batteries left and we can apply it to the ultra secret room and maybe get a god red item there. Sacred heart. I don't know. You know, it could happen. If it's something I like brimstone, it's going to be painful, but I'm not going to take it because, you know, I don't want to give up whatever we got going on here. Boom. Sacred heart. Y yeah, I'll take it. It's good. It's it's wonderful actually. Thank you so much. Should I pay this guy off now? Since I I, I mean I guess I might as well. Like why not? You know I I got more rolls to do. We also increased our angel chance over devil by doing that. If you didn't know that was a thing. Being a good Samaritan does indeed pay off. Let's keep in mind we have rock bottom, so we got to use that to influence our future decisions. Uh. Wow, two pedestals, appreciated, roll. I don't know what any of these items are to be honest with you guys. <laughs> what is this? Beginner's luck, plus 10 luck up every floor, but you lose luck every room until you go back to default luck. Well, good for me, I got rock hot. <laughs> what was that, is it like a PS2 or something? Spawns a glitched item, they have completely random effects. Is this not just TM Trainer? Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll take the beginner's luck, this should work. The moment we get to the next floor, we'll have 14 luck base. That sounds nuts to me. And we do have one more roll. This crazy battery card we found, I cannot believe is in the game. There we go. Tilde key, enter key. I don't know what both of these do. Grants a random debug effect and attempts to open the boss rush door. Well, do I need to be in like the, the room to do it? I think so, right? I mean, I, I guess I might as well try. Oh no, it's not even charged when you pick it up. Never mind. We'll just go then. We'll go. I assume like you could use it and and then when you go to mom, it might open. But I don't even think that's how that would work. You would probably need to use it in this room. And I'm not giving up the D6 for nothing. Damage or Polaroid? Now I feel like my damage is immaculate. I don't need any help. <laughs> Let's go up, dude. Angel, Glyph of Balance, into Relic. Glyph is more fun. And if we get one more Angel, I'd love to demolish Mega Satan. Because as you can see, the damage is in that beautiful place where you just see the health bar melt down. This is where it's gonna get real good. There's not 14 luck, that's that's 25 total. What the hell what kind of math? <laughs> we 
Oh, oh god, guys. Guys, I hit the god run. This is the run we wanted to have. The evil eye insane luck run with the feral cat is actually nasty. I am shooting too many that my game is lagging and they're deleting the tears now. There's just, what is with all the keys? <laughs> this TP to the I am error room and the other one opens the door you last came from. Well, I already have Mercurius, but that's something to roll, I guess. Does it even matter to me anymore? I got exactly what I wanted. It's infinite tears. Actually, literally, actual perfect scenario. Scenario. Roll this into echo chamber, which is probably just the smart play could work out for me We can work on maybe getting some more damage now, especially because we got wub wub worm with us pulse worm. What's good, dude? And the rock bottom, you know, we already have major damage. We just got to push it to its limit at this point. You know, get a soy milk or get a polyphemus with a rock bottom play. And it's just completely over, I think. I don't know why I thought this was a dead end, I suppose. I could have kept going forward, but Jesus. Oh, you know what? I got Mercurius. I could just speed run, actually. I could just walk wherever I want. We're good. Nice. We did get a deal. A devilish kind. Here's up. What's, what's going on in here, man? Conjoined again? Wow, conjoined would probably actually crash me, so let's do it. Hey, didn't I sack alter? Why didn't you get sacrificed? Maybe it only sacrifices only up to a, a certain amount. I'm not too sure. Oh, what'd you spawn? I'm not- I wasn't dancing, so I don't know if it's gonna be too good, but it's gonna be something to roll at least. Plus it's birthrighted? What was it? Oh, Star of Bethlehem. You know, I mean, obviously this is the correct play. You got rock bottom. Boom. Just give me my extra stats. Thank you. Ooh, arcade with crane game. Let's blow you up for the good deal chance and then I just I'll spend all my money. It's cool. Maybe it'll work out for me. Maybe I'll feel like every every gambler ever. <laughs> maybe I am not the 1%, but maybe I just need one more. Yes, and get piercing. Don't need that. But uh, man, that's conjoined, dude. If I could just land that, that would be humongous for me. Okay, let's try this around. There you go. Remote detonator. I definitely don't need that. Just give me the conjoin, man. What a sick pickup, actually. And then this devil could be good. We got rerolls available. A charge beggar. I'm thinking that this run is officially cooking. Imagine all of this. All these conjoins plus like all these evil eyes. I mean, look at what's happening. I don't want to shoot too much because I know I'm going to crash. Look, that was one shot. My frames dipped heavily. <laughs> On to cathedral. I'm now a holy lad. Let's try and keep Lasso alive and we can at least get a journey idea of where the boss might be on these floors because star bethlehem is now assisting us anywho we got isaac who will last two seconds goodbye i got the perfect one that i always wanted with specifically this item and now we close it out with some god items birthrights going crazy so many pickups we got lost little payout one more time no item that's fine boop ba blank and bloop we got Mad's Kidney Star. Yeah, we're gonna lock this one in. It wasn't even that much of a, a tier. <laughs> but it was a lot considering the amount of tears that I'm shooting. It, it's going to be absurd. These items are also fine. I guess this is Bookworm, but I'm gonna roll the rest. They serve me zero purpose whatsoever. What is that? Every time you use an active item, you create an electric shock around you. That seems cool, but I mean, what am I ever gonna use the D6 offensively? So no thank you. I'll be back, I guess. What about this one? Oh, I like that. Thank you. Whoops, I didn't even take it. Appreciate it. Another one right here. Lusty Blood Mr. Boom. Obvious pick. Let's roll these dad's key. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, is there a higher chance to find dad's key on like the starting room as the chest? Or is that just me? I feel like the likelihood of it happening goes up by at least 2%. Not something significant that you can call it out. But something enough significant that you're like, wait a second. <laughs> I swear it cannot just be me. Dad's key shows up in that room way more often than it should. What's this? Oh, yeah, you know, it's the end of the run. Even if this doesn't work, I'll do it just because, you know, it's, it's, oh, it kind of works. It kind of does. Never mind. We good. I'm going to be shooting less, I think, overall. Wow, Moncho, gimme. I think we're just going to rock this in general. You know what? It's actually 10 times worse, but well, it's still pretty overpowered, so whatever. <laughs> I genuinely think the mega play of today was that crazy luck item we found into, like, rock bottom. Whatever we managed to do to get that to work, it, like, it's perfect. I could not actually ask for anything better. It just provided so many chests towards the end here. I'm gaining every item I could possibly want. 
Quick, oh my god, I got to. I'm sorry, I mean, if I crash and I lose every single thing I've ever recorded, that's my own fault. I just, I mean, I have to take that risk. We got one final roll here, just to check it out. We got Sad Onion, oh my, guaranteed razor blades. We got Maggie's bow, we got Spelunker hat, we got everything. Let's pop the Devil card, this might give me a DPS up while I'm in Star Bethlehem, I don't know. It did, uh, and now I think it's over. I, I think it's literally going to be the one of the prettiest runs I've had in my life. Guaranteed evil eye razor blades proc. I have infinite tears. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. It's actually perfect. It's it's what I always wanted. We had a goal set out and we achieved it and it's beautiful. I don't even need to continue after this. I, I am genuinely satisfied. It cannot get better. If it got any better, quote unquote, I feel like I would genuinely crash and I'm getting kind of scared that I'm gonna crash. <laughs> That's it, dude. Do we get that 50-50 on Delirium? Do we? Do we? No, we don't even. That's it. Dude, that was so cool. GG's, everyone. I love you so much. Later.